Hello, my loves. I'm back. Welcome to What's the Ball in Ken. Here are my recommendations for things to eat, do, and see during your time here. Enjoy. <laughs> We've just checked into the Marine Hotel and it overlooks a beautiful blue flag beach of Tankerton. This hotel is owned by Shepherd Neen, which is Britain's oldest brewer and have over 300 sites, all from London across the southeast and along the coastline of Kent as well. So, we've got two pints. We've got the Shepherd Neem Ale and then also the very, very popular What's the Bay Pale ale as well Cheers. and then we'll go and get some oysters oh. if you like ipas you'd love the whitstrable one and if you want an introduction to a lighter beer then the spitfire is your friend Okay, let's go for a little stroll. This is the view right outside the hotel. These city dwellers definitely need to take a big intake of sea air. We're now going on a 20 minute coastal walk to see what is the best oyster shack in Whitstable. Tankerton Beach is a blue flag awarded beach with grassy slopes, colorful wooden beach huts and ample area for family picnics, sailing and dog spotting. There were so many dogs running around the beach having the time of their lives here. So cute. And even with the wind, it was so enjoyable. There's nothing quite like hearing the waves during your street. We are now in the town center of Whitstable and we've just passed the local and we're meant to be going to the forge. It's meant to be the best place for oysters but she was like, give me a little insider tip, go to Wheeler's Bar which is so high on my list so we're gonna go and try that instead but it is so cute here's a little bunting little store so i'm gonna show you <laughs> Time has come for me to finally eat here. This place gets packed during peak times and the weekends, so I recommend coming during off peak hours or on weekdays after lunch if you're a walk in. We are now at Wheeler's Oyster Bar, and this has been a place that's been on my England bucket list and my Kent bucket list for honestly the longest time, and I'm so happy to finally be here and they miraculously had a table for us. So I've ordered a half a dozen of the wild native vegetable oysters, which is only available between September to April, and also a lovely couple behind us like you must get the fried ones with the tempura Guinness batter, the Guinness tempura batter even, and it is so good. He loves the Guinness this batter one the most and I always love the raw oysters the most and it's so creamy so fresh it's such a beautiful location bright exterior with a bright pink but inside it comes in and it's so cozy got a little coat stand behind me a little fireplace trinkets and it's so intimate and cute we also have a little meadow board oh fine good good they don't serve alcohol here but there's literally a off lights it's directly opposite where you can get beers wines and everything for so much cheaper and then they just pay you a four pound corkage fee and this is the one that P picked up we love ourselves young blanc from new zealand and this one's got a little sheep with sunglasses so he picked it because he loved the bottle <laughs> but they charge you four pounds instead of you know doing a markup for alcohol i'm so happy that i'm literally tearing up because i've wanted to come here for so long and it's so cute and everyone here is really lovely anyway i'm gonna eat this now I am so happy right now. These are the places that I remember the most. Family run places that operate with heart and passion. This is the warm fig and almond tart I'm reading from the menu. Orange shortbread, crumb burnt honey and miso ice cream that you have to pre-order in advance. The perfect balance of sweet but not too sweet. The miso ice cream is and it's still warm in your mouth and it cools down with the miso ice cream which isn't too sweet either so it's overpowering mm. it's very very rainy outside i tried to go to the forge but it's too rainy and there's no indoor seats so i've now come to the 12 tap which is also very highly recommended as a bar and um the site here actually make their own gins so we've got a whole list of what's the bull gin of different ones and cocktails that you can have you've got lager you've got beer you've got wine you've got soft drinks so i have gone for it seems to be a signature drink, which is called the Whitstable Pizza GNT. So you've got the Whitstable Pizza Gem, served with fever tree like tonic, an olive, and a grind of black pepper, which they describe as sweet tomato, herby basil, and a smooth creaminess. And then P. I thought he would like this one, but he does, and it's delightful. It's the Figgy Plum. It's green sand plum brandy, fig liqueur, topped with thyme foam, finished with the. How do you say this word? Page. I can never pronounce this word. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll put it on the screen. I feel like I should know how to say this word. Uh, bitters rocks, um, which is deep, rich, and warming, which I can agree to. It's very cozy in here. It's a little fireplace, local art. This would be a fantastic date night spot. Um, and good music, little snackies. I've come over to Sam Farm, which is a Kentish bistro. They have daily specials, they have oysters, seafood, but they also have a lot of meat dishes and vegetarian options as well. And the menu is fabulous. So we're going to go for the Padron Peppers with reserved lemons, sunflowers and kiwi because description. We're going to give a half a dozen of the Malden oysters because I love oysters and it's got a juniper mignonette, 80 pounds. I think we're going to go for a dry aged beef sirloin and a salad of fair to chef too. Delicious, I hope. Um, the staff are really lovely. I can't wait. <laughs> we would love this dinner and we were saying that if we lived here, all three places would be on a regular date night spot. Then it was time for breakfast at the hotel restaurant downstairs the next morning. I had an English fry up, P had pancakes and then we decided to take another beach walk into town spotting kite servers along the way it was so cool and the weather was perfect for it Westerbor is full of local small businesses and boutiques selling everything from tea homeware to art I loved popping in and having a nose at each place Good morning, my love from Whistable. We've woken up, checked out the hotel, and had a delicious breakfast downstairs. We also picked past a place that was highly recommended called the Bubble along the way and the coastline. And we are now right in the centre of town again, popping into the shops. And there are so many here. And they've got so many boutiques, local shops, and everything is just so full of character. I've been chatting to everyone inside. It's beautiful homeware, art, zero waste shops, locally brewed kombucha, bookshops. Like I love it here and it's all so cute. They've got colourful bunting and everyone and their dogs are all out as well so we keep stopping to see the dogs so anyway i'll show you a little a uh, few of our favorite stores that we're popping into and then i think we're gonna go and grab a coffee oh you can't see me oh there we are and there's p trying to work out where we're gonna go next but we love it here it's so cute <laughs> We've wandered down and our patience has paid off. We are now at Blueprint Coffee Roasters and it's such a great vibe. They advertise coffee and books so we immediately went in. Got lots of open air, little seats, loads of books and a great selection of fantastic quality coffee. So they've ordered a P61 and an Aeropress one and also this Plum Financier. This is the one that P has with the P60 and it is delicious so good this is my one with the aeropress and it's all roasted in whistable here in kent as well and also look at my little dim sum case from my girl georgina learn with case defy i love it it's perfect look <laughs> Got some deep fried scampi with no chips. Also, look at my oysters. So I've got half a dozen of the wild native ones, which is 20 pounds, and two single rock oysters. And I'm not gonna lie, these are humongous and look so juicy. Yum. So half a dozen is 20 pounds, and then the other ones were two pounds each. So it was 24 pounds for eight. This is the look of pure joy and happiness. I really enjoy the oysters here. The wooden picnic benches parked by the stroll, the no-frill shack, and being right on the beach with the sun beaming on the face. Loved it. We loved it so much that P got another half a dozen of the wild native ones. They're so good. Out of the three I've tried, I would say this is worth the hype. It's so good and it's a lovely little setting when it's not raining. Happy, I'm happy so good i'm so happy i calculated that we've had 30 in the past 24 hours and i could easily do 30 more but worcester oysters live up to the hype and i would say out of the three places we went to weedest oyster bar samphire 
and the forge. The forge was our favorite. I love the setting of being by the seaside. It's a very like chill, exactly what they say, no frills place. Loved it. Um, yeah, it, it was great. It's a little bit more expensive, but I would just say quality wise, I absolutely love them. Um, but the other two places are good as well. But now we are on the way back to the hotel and then we're off to Canterbury for an evening. So that will be the next vlog. But I hope you've enjoyed this little overnight trip with us to Whitstable in Kent. What a fantastic, fantastic little staycation. And also congratulations to Visit Kent for being Lonely Planet, one of the four, top four regions to visit um, in the world. So well deserved and I can't wait to be back. Bye. Bye from P. Bye! Bye! We're back lit, but you can see the beautiful seaside behind us instead. Bye!